So I guess I just feel like um, if that person gives you a portion of their bonus, um, I feel like I should get a piece of it too, even though I didn't do anything for your company. <laughs> I just feel like I'm being undervalued also. So um, let's let's like gang up on that person who who, uh, <laughs> who is generous <laughs> enough to offer you. <laughs> hey, folks. <laughs> on the mysterious JG. I'm Zerpal. And uh, we are uh, parked outside. Well, we're parked outside of um, a pulsating egg. That's not true. It's a. Uh, this this appears to be the underwater base of the bad guys. Uh, this might be the end of the game for all I know. It certainly doesn't look like there's a lot more places to visit on the surface. Although, I guess another catastrophic event could take place where the world map changes again, and there's even fewer land masses that are uh, above water. I wouldn't hide that event from you. No, he certainly wouldn't. And certainly I haven't glanced at the uh, facts online to see how much more this game is left. So we're, uh, I guess we're ready to to head inside. Yep. The tentacle egg home of Gebhar. Oh man, it's all biological outside, all technological inside. That's kooky. Ooh, cinematics are kicking in. Is that Keon for himself? Oh, it could be. Ah, father! Uh, Avatar has finally arrived at your underwater base! Is this her? Are you yeah. sure you have no regrets about hanging on so long in Shell Dorado? Or maybe he said that to her. Perhaps. Are you sure you have no regrets about hanging on so long in Shoulder Auto? <laughs> Are you coughing? You're coughing. You feeling okay? I'm concerned <laughs> about you, daughter. You know, we've invaded many worlds and even met stiff resistance. <laughs> Ooh, stiff. Uh, uh, though, again, this might be you talking. I'm not sure. I think this is her talking, actually. Yeah. The willpower of the people on this planet exceeds all of them by far. Their energy keeps driving them forward, no matter how many setbacks. Nonsense. The Turians and Asari also put up a big fight, but were eventually defeated by Gabfar. Their underlying vigor is a fearsome power, perhaps even exceeding ours. Undying, but I get your point. Therefore, we should... Should we keep taking chances? Have you thought about that? Ooh, he didn't like that. Daughter, Gujo, those with the power win. And all of the others kneel. Kneel. Strong wills are easily broken in time. This is the law of the universe. I've given you that time, yet somehow you struggle more inside your head. Gujo, you need to quit talking and thinking and just act on my words. The words of Dr. Principal Boros. Throw away your broken heart, daughter of mine, and kill this enemy. Just be glad he and his followers will soon deliver the Aura Sphere to us. Shake to shake. I will use all of my energy to defeat Avatar and seize his main power source. Which is, I, godly treats, I guess. <laughs> this love and friendship nonsense is a weakness that will doom you. This is turning into Sailor Moon. <laughs> I'm giving you one last chance. Go, Gujo. My sons will be born soon. You'll have little brothers to play with. Inside them, my power will grow. My true legacy in this and future conquests. Y yes, father. Dot, dot, dot. I can tell you're totally into my orders and are not in any way questioning them. Alright, so I guess we're exploring the base now. Exploring the base. All our base are belong to base. There is one monster around here somewhere. 
on one of these floors that Poyon can learn HP straw from. Well, a it's called an egg warrior. Oh wow, that sounds awesome actually. Oh, the gro Gorgler. That's the uh, cheap knockoff of Google Googlebot. Cheap knockoff of a Gobot? I thought Gobots were a cheap knockoff. Googlebot, <laughs> cheap not cheap oh. knockoff of Google. You mean Bing? Yeah, well, I mean, if they were trying to be less... <laughs> or like, less subtle about it. Mm. Oh, no, stop Googling. You start gorgling. It's just as good, guys. Gorgling, I think it's like the, uh, the Google that's been approved by the Chinese government. He just, <laughs> they just restored a lot of hit points there. That wasn't fun. Lucky. <laughs> nice shot. Got, he's controlling access. It's nice that somebody's controlling access. Normally that gorgler just lets anybody access. <laughs> Thank you. Liberation. Blackie. We picked up some pearls. I guess at this point we're... If it comes to it, we'll level up... Uh, we'll get some more potions for Poyon, but... Mm -hmm. So I, I figured that... Straight north path was the main way to go. This is why I came over here, but maybe I'm wrong. Oh no, I guess I was right. My instincts were right. This is treasure. After opening the treasure chest, super! super! Found the red shoes. You don't have to put on the red light. You don't have to put on the red But I don't think either of these are egg warriors, no. No. Just a couple of systems. I would imagine these guys are going to be immune to. Uh, Poison. Poison. Ooh, press worked on Poyon, but what did it do? He's now under pressure. Well, there was some kind of horn attack there. That was... Oh, oh. oh man, they're doing, like, no damage to these guys. I'm thinking that was a spell they cast. I'm hoping it only lasts for one turn, but... Oh, it's like having a six points every time, and we, yeah, we are doing no damage. Hmm. Well, what the Maybe fuck they're weak against only one type. Yeah, but I thought we did some damage at first. something that does damage to all, just in case, uh, I guess he doesn't really do that. Uh, hmm. They have question mark, question mark, hit points, and question mark, question mark, magic points. Maybe he never actually figured out how to beat these guys. Well, he knows what they drop. Well, he knows oh. what one of them drops. Battle rescue? Acid mist recurring. And that's really not that bad, especially on point on for 20 MP. Yeah, but he's already back down to like no hit points. Well, now I just want to figure this out because it's bugging me. But um, magic light. Uh, and dragon. Land shark. You'd think if there was some sort of trick to this, you would have mentioned something about it, but I guess not. Well, I mean, we, we're here assuming he figured out everything that's going on, which is kind of unfair. I, either fire works on them, or they use some kind of skill that made them immune to all damage, but it didn't last forever. Hmm. I mean, it could be they're only weak to certain types of magic. Well, every element we used on them in that turn worked, which means we really don't know now. It maybe it worked because their immunity wore off, or maybe it worked because we weren't using the right elements up until that point. Eh, either way, I'm going to use a little uh, 
vital in A here so that we don't use up all of our MPs since apparently we're going to need those to actually defeat some of these enemies. That's good enough problem. We're not short of vital in A's, but we could run out pretty quickly if we're fighting enemies that are going to be that big of a pain. Yep. You aren't egg warriors. There's wire rings. Alarm, mach schnell. Oh no, he did two damage. Oh. Makes him attack himself. It's the why you hitting yourself attack. Stop hitting yourself, stop hitting yourself. One of my favorite Mary Did the Sea comic things is uh, they use, I don't know if you've ever seen that, they use like old wood prints and stuff, but they just put new words with it. And they had a, an angel struggling with a person on a hill. And it says, And thusly the angel spoke unto them and said, Stop hitting thine self! Stop hitting thine self! <laughs> but they could not, for it was the angel that was making them do it. I like the idea of that. Yeah, that's fun. I like that. <coughs> this is the third week now going on to this cough. Yeah, I wasn't going to say anything, but... It, um... You've kind of been struggling with this for a while. Yeah, it's weird because I don't feel sick at all, right? I got no congestion or anything. I like I was really sick for like two days, and then just the little tickle in my throat just won't go away. You might just want to gargle. That's the hot new search engine that will tell you how to get rid of your uh, <laughs> tickle on your throat. Yeah. Hey, do you have a problem with your uh, with your body? Just gargle it. Unlike WebMD, only 80% of the things we recommend are cancer. I um, had a little incident where I uh, went grocery shopping and uh, forgot that I had bought shredded cheese for a casserole. So I put everything in the fridge, you need to go in the fridge, and left a few things in a bag so I just didn't feel like unpacking, and had forgotten to account for the shredded cheese. So it sat in my apartment like overnight and like... Literally, it was probably about 24 hours because I bought it after work one day, and then after work uh, the next day, I was like, "Oh crap, I've got this cheese." So I went, I googled, like, "Is it okay, like, to leave cheese?" Because it was shredded cheese in a like zippy Ziploc bag. I was like, "Is this okay? Is this gonna be okay?" And like, I literally get like one web page. It's like, "This is fine. Cheese was originally." developed in the days before refrigeration as a way to preserve dairy there's no issues at all and another one is like bacteria doubles in uh you know amount every 10 minutes on unrefrigerated food you will die if you eat this cheese <laughs> and my takeaway was okay um when it's time to actually use it to cook i'm going to open it smell it taste a little bit and then decide whether i can use it because there is there does not seem to be a concurrence on this so did you end up dying? I haven't used it yet, so I could still die. <laughs> oh, it's still it's still up in the air. Oh, God. Oh, hey, look at that. Oh, you can't see my cursor. Well, Zerfal can. You guys won't be able to. Ooh, Ooh secret treasure. Secret treasure. I wonder if it's... Good eye. I wonder if it's cheese. <laughs> well, it depends on how long it's been sitting there for. It might just be mold now. Well, that's thing. It's shredded cheese, so I'm like, am I even going to be able to see if there's mold? Yeah. Yeah, that's where it gets because it's such small pieces. Like with big, yeah. big block of cheese, you might be like, "Oh, there's a little bit starting on this corner. I'll just lop that off." And well, and that was the other thing that gave me some hope. Is like the ones that were specifically saying it's okay. We're talking about block cheeses versus soft cheeses. Whereas the people who thought I was gonna die were just like not getting into the cheese specifics. They They're just saying you mm -hmm. will die. <laughs> But I'm going to put it in a casserole. I'm going to, like, it's going to be spread over noodles and stuff and baked at 400 degrees. So, <laughs> it might just take, like, in theory, it, if the cheese has gone bad, it will taste terrible. But hopefully the bacteria will be killed. <laughs> I might get mildly sick from tasting a little bit before deciding, yeah, it's not that bad, and cooking it. And then what I cook will be fine. But what I tasted to make sure it was okay will kill me. 
I know there's, and then there'll be too many variables, and you'll never know where it came from for sure. I know. The world will always wonder why I uh, died. Why did, why did Mysterious JG get sick for those three days? No. And what's really going to be sad is that then, uh, if I die, Bobo will be forced to release the uh, episodes of Dynasty Warriors 8, the Woo story that we haven't finished recording, so we haven't started uploading. It's like, well, <laughs> posthumously, the first half of the Woo story of Dynasty Warriors 8. <laughs> Tragically, JG died from eating bad cheese, but I knew he would want these to go online. You could be, he'd have a que uh, really great uh, little end card with one of the characters <laughs> explaining what happened. <laughs> Instead of like, sorry, Lost Sync, it's like, sorry, one of the LPers died. And it's a picture of like uh, Jacques Yao doing like this goofy shrug. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie. I'm back to try again later. Oh no, my wireless device disconnected, which means I'm not earning rewards in Mass Effect Andromeda. <laughs> <laughs> Between videos, I gotta plug in a new controller so I can continue to get um, Milky Way research data. All right, so where is this treasure going to be? Yeah, no, shit, I really am between videos. You're going to have to go plug in a new controller. <laughs> I don't feel like fighting you guys, so fuck you. I kind of want to fight those enemies that really gave us trouble one more time to see if we can figure them out. But once we figure them out, I'm going to start running away from them, too. See ya. Uh, it might be we have to come down to it from above or something if it's on a little... Yeah, it's on like an walk. elevated... Uh, to do your little turn on a catwalk. <laughs> your little sexy pose. <laughs> well, here's one of the two guys that did crazy immunity stuff. So let's try just attacking him and see if it was the other one that was casting some kind of goofy you cannot damage us spell. Hmm. I'm thinking yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, you just damaged him pretty good. Unless the horn attack, which doesn't appear to affect us. Yeah, oh, that's what it is. Oh, motherfucker. So it might just be a one turn thing. Every turn he does the horn attack. Yeah. They're immune for a little bit. But then if he ever chooses not to horn attack, if he doesn't get horny, then uh, it'll just be causing damage. What? Well, it looks like it's going to last more than one turn. Yeah, it seems to. Hospita. I don't know what to do except to keep attacking because I don't know how many turns it lasts. Yeah. Well, we don't be able to. We don't be able to. It, we don't seem to be able to kill it fast enough to stop that from happening on the first turn, mm. which basically means that these guys are pain in the ass and we don't really. It's not worth dealing with them. But what's really annoying me is the knowledge that the one on the right there, I believe, was able to cast healing spells in the last time we encountered it, which means this combination could be a real pain in the butt. Maybe it was... The oh, yeah, you almost get him dead and then that, heals him yeah, up and they cast another horn attack. And then, and man, if they use horn attack more than once per battle, then it's really just like, oh, let's fight these guys for the rest of our lives here. And that's how I defeated Avatar with old age. So yeah, it looks like there's a little bit of a... It's, it's on the next level. You gotta so. remember to come back down. What? Oh man, there's a throw all over the place. Oh. Treasures. Space sure is involved. Ooh, now it's all biological and weird. Oh, and there's people getting absorbed. Oh, and they're all like, they're like naked babies. <laughs> Writhing in pain. Oh, okay, so I'm thinking the egg warriors might be, um, if we're going to have like a mixture of weird biological levels and weird mechanical levels, the egg Tequila, warriors yeah. might be down here. Down where, Kev? HP straw is in quotes and made into pink text, so I'd imagine it's probably a pretty good spell. It probably just gives you, lets you uh, suck hit points, obviously. Suck hit points. Oh, well, that's three words. But... Alright, so those guys are immune to wind. I have to remember that. But they're weak to axe. Here comes the axe. We're gonna smash her open the treasure chest. 
Nice, you found vital and all. Are these egg warriors? No. Because that name really wouldn't fit these guys. I gotta stop using attack magic, because A, it's not really working that often, and B, we're about to run out of MP on our black mage. Ooh, that was a hard hit. And they just Oh, he's got a weakness now. Oh, he is weak. Yeah, it's weak physical attacks, I guess. Luckily, we have lots and lots of violin A. Hey. Violin R. Now, Avatar is weak. There's some really annoying uh, status effect spells in this game. Maybe they suspected that we have gotten to this high level that we did, and they're like, you know what, we'll just give them status effects that just affect everybody just as poorly, regardless of their level. Part of level 75. And got Pretty weeks. high, I guess. Can't we just, like, hop down? The ground looks pretty squishy. Pink Pug? Melting pug. Oh, metling pug. <laughs> Melting pug. Oh, Bring it don't on. hit him. Bring it on, too. Bring it on her. Oh, man. They just keep filling it up. There's already a green one. So we got a pink pug, a metling pug, a green pug, a yellow pug, and a blue pug. And I really do not know. A pink pug, a metling pug, a green pug, a yellow Going pug, and a blue pug bar. all walk into a bar. <laughs> I should let you finish. I was, I was just like, I knew where you were going. I was like, I'm jumping in on this. Oh man, but look at these combo attacks we're getting. Are they actually, yeah, so are they actually going to fight us or are they just going to kind of. <laughs> Maybe they can't. <laughs> can't do anything if there's not someone to summon. Yeah, when he let the magic out of his heart, the magic light out of his heart, it seemed to do a pretty good job. There's no way they could survive the Cyclone Flare. I was waiting to oh, find out did. one of them absorbs fire. Like... Everyone, the different colors all absorb different elements or something. Well, I was thinking, like, okay, maybe, like, some of these pug colors, are, like, they actually are pulling out the early game enemies and just dropping them in. But, no, they all appear to have, like, hundreds and hundreds of hit points, so. Mm -hmm. Apparently, you can steal some interesting items off of these guys, too. Hmm. We brought our ninja prince back. Enemy dropped an item. Picked up ice shield. One of those guys is holding an ice shield, so it's a good thing we didn't try to use ice. Yeah, that ground sure looks like fluff, like, so actually it doesn't look that soft. I would look at it. Unless we jump onto one of those uh, babies crying out and suffering. <laughs> After I open the chest. Hey, you're just putting, taking them out of their misery, you know? We found a door badge? Okay. No, I think we're gonna need Ugh. that later. Zax! Zaxors, what happened? <laughs> oh, Jax, excuse me, Jax, of course. <laughs> Poison one digit all. You're gonna get at least 8,000 experience for this. I get a little beefy because I feel like it. Suddenly, the fact that we're only facing one enemy means I can't use boomerang, it just doesn't feel right. Ugh. Yeah, don't piss on him, man. He. <laughs> He's got a he's got a bite when he's angry. Sure, hope we get. Because of some course, is this uh, this uh, game's xenomorph enemy that so many games of the era had. What if we don't put the extra mouth in its mouth? Give it a horn and turn it red. Then no one will know it's based on the aliens monster. Oh, he 
He's like our healer guy, he's not our black mage. I still like, start wasting so much of his magic. The deadliest gun flew too close to the sun. So how can it... It beat the hell out of our guy on the far right the first time, and then the second time around I was like, eh. Maybe it was a crit? They chased us down? And cornered you. That's right. Two monsters cornered four people. These guys really know how to work the ankles. Yeah, that's all squishy. Well, you know what that symbol means. It's an in-game save opportunity, which means it's probably a good idea for a save state <clears> opportunity. <throat> and possibly a good point to do an in-game save, because apparently uh, sometimes the uh, save states will mess stuff up. Mm -hmm. As we noted when we did um, this save, because uh, suddenly our um, in-game password for whatever that puzzle was wasn't going to work. Now, apparently you don't want to... Go down, yeah necessarily go down yet. I mean, you can, but there's more treasure to be found if you remain around here. What are they thinking, kidnapping an old fool such as I? Damn, if I weren't for bad luck, I'd have no luck at all. You didn't say <laughs> some weird political comment. What happened? I hear you can't break these tentacles unless you kill Gabfire. You heard that from who? Oh, aren't you the one that beat that bumbling idiot Zadim? And you came all this way just to save me? Uh, that's not the only reason. It's not the plan at all, we're just gonna leave you here. Nice, you found Angel's Tear. Where Angel's Tear, trouble follows. Either of your egg warriors. I think they'll, they'll be down on the next floor. Chased down by dude. Time for some godly treats. These treats are so godly. They are pretty godly. They're uber treats, man. It takes like a full. That was not the right button to press. It takes like a full inventory of them to heal up our party at this point, but it's. But they're so delicious. And only 50 calories a pop. We are from the Cactus Tribe. They wrapped us in these cocoons. These cocoons that look like human babies. Next thing we knew, we were in this place. But I refused to die. I want to see my village again. Yeah, it's like we're like we're gonna we're gonna feed off their life energy. I refuse to die. Excellent. You'll make a perfect battery. Aww. Can you at least put me in the Matrix? <laughs> yeah. These monsters are sucking us dry. Either save us or kill us. And to do it quickly, did it? After opening the treasure chest, nice. You found a magical cube. So it's, it's pretty much time cube. to call it a video. But I'm thinking maybe we can clear this floor. But uh, probably. I think what would you get? Two out of five so far. Two Supposed to be five treasures around here somewhere. Two out of five ain't bad. Not one person who was moved to the floor below has returned. We're moving on down to the west side to a deluxe apartment in the ground. <laughs> oh, he's a west side gang. I'm sorry. For some reason I thought it was your turn. They nabbed me in west side. I'm a west side gangster. No, apparently Dusty rules. Oh, wait. No, you can go under these things. That's right. Ah, are you, you, are you here to rescue us, or did heaven send you here to take us? Are you with the religious right? I have things to say about them. I'm political. <laughs> Turn up in the treasure chest. Nice. You found a revival tent. You can have a revival there. 
heaven sent you for that purpose. I don't even know what those do. It's probably like one of those save points. I think so. Like, we never really... Yeah. Maybe... Hell, let's, let's try it. Let's go to save point try the revival tent. I wonder if there's like tent heals you and revival tent is like, oh, you have dead people? Just use a revival tent. I'll bring them back. Yeah, it's a zombie tent. The revival tent goes hard all day all night. It's a team in uh, wrestling called the Revival. All right, Revival Tent. Uh, it's the last time we needed one of you or acquired one of you. Revive all dead during battle. Oh, well, that's neat. We should probably never mind. That. That's not too bad. That's pretty. Yeah, you have two people dead. Hey, if you're strong enough to enter this place, get us out! I bought against the monster, and look where it got me. Yow! If I'd known he was going to say yow at the end, I would not have gone with that voice. <laughs> After opened the treasure chest. Nice! You found revival herb. Herb talk. That's pretty nice, I guess. I'm a little worried that we're getting all these revival items. I think we're about to fight something pretty nasty. <laughs> Start opening the treasure chest. Nice! You found again drop. You found drop again. Ugh. Yo, bro. It hurts. It really hurts. I don't feel very good. Save me, bruh. Got to get tough. Yo, bro. Go save that kid first. He says, brah, he must be a kid. Get him. Save him. Get him out of here. I don't care if I die. I just don't want to hear him anymore. <laughs> He's popping his collars too much. <laughs> Ow! It's painful. I got zapped in prickly. Hey, this thing is killing us. <laughs> that is the best line read for that dialogue. Big. Ow! This thing is zapping me. Hey, <laughs> it's killing us. I mean, for that dialogue, perfect. Won't you please save us? I, I mean, I'm asking you to hurry it up. We can't handle much more of this. It's torture. It'd be funny if, if you spend too much time talking to these people, then when you come back afterwards, they are dead. <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> there goes the wooden doll. We just saved. <laughs> we have to get those <laughs> treasures again. Uh, we might as well grab the extra treasure off ca on camera here, and then just off camera back if we want to get. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's no way. I couldn't break the village, but I won't die with this. This ah, swelling in my heart. Ooh, this is hard. Some say his heart grew three sizes that day. Powered over the treasure chest. Nice. Found the fairy rooks. And we're going to call it a video. And when we come back, I'm going to like frame skip through this and, and not lose that doll because it's bugging me. Like we're this close to the final boss and suddenly we're like losing those. No. <laughs> anyway, folks, I'm the Mysterious JG. I'm Zerfo. Thank you guys very much for watching. And we'll catch you next time for more of Super Shell Monster Story. See ya.